and I'm back for take two. Did my first round of that feather pour. Mm, it was okay. Um, kind of didn't like the separation of the brown and the blues. So what I'm actually going to try to do is do the browns underneath and then the blues on top. And hopefully I can get more of a swirlier swirl in it. Just kind of added to what I had. Again, I layered the colors on both sides with the white being the only thing that goes across. And I'm just going to start... Now, I might have too much paint, but again, it's a year of experiments. This is my what if. Maybe I can start making feather snakes now. <laughs> I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. Because I do want to incorporate all the colors. Those are all the colors she wanted. Um, the browns actually match like the hardwood floors so I'm just going to go back and forth Maybe stretch it out a little bit. Sorry, let me see. Stretch a little bit out a little bit more this side. And then I'm going to go in with the blues. And take it back. Right. Now I'm going to try the blue on top. I don't know how this is going to work but we shall see. Blues again layered both colors on both sides. Man, I love that cerulean blue. So pretty. It's a darker one than other cerulean blues, but I do like it. I do like it. different so this is gonna go a little bit faster so I'm gonna try to tilt slower because it has that base of all that other color already Oops, I went off. Darn it. But all right, who was it? Somebody told me I can always scrape off. Wipe off. Add white. Whoever told me that, it's not as easy as it looks. I'm just going to get some of this base. Again, these are just my practice ones, so it's not such a big deal, but it kind of is, but... Mm. Just try scraping it off. Just to scrape. 
read that off. Let me just put some of this white here. And I'm just going to add a teeny tiny bit over this blue. And I'm going to go side to side. And I'm still going to go over, so. It's okay. This is just the style of doing it that I'm testing. So I like the blowing out, and I think I'm going to start with that. And remember, I'm still going to pull out the strands. And that was a scary sound I just heard outside. <laughs> Almost looks like I went in with the, the white. Okay, gives it a little bit more cell action. I'm gonna torch it real quick. Oops, sorry. I even have it in the center. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull out. I'm trying to pull from the center line. I think I did that on my first video, which I realize I do have to. post because it had the dried paintings <laughs> in it. I didn't want to take the time to do it in the second one. I think I'm liking this one better so that I still am incorporating the burnt umber and the burnt sienna. 
um, into the design without it being separated, which was okay. Maybe I wait to do the final and get all yours' opinion on it. Take a survey. Who likes which way better? So the blue is going into a lot of the taking over the brown gold, so I'm going to just pull from the ends as well. So that the browns don't get lost in the blue. The umbas, siennas, the gold. Liking that a lot better. Guess I'm gonna have some feather paintings hanging around. <laughs> okay. I know it went off the edge, but we'll start from the center. center line. Those nice sounds of a nice tight canvas. In case you don't know, you should Spray a little bit of water on the back of your canvas. I rub mine in on all four sides and then let it dry so that it has that nice drum sound when you put your finger on it. When you do the tap on the back of it. Okay, now I'm gonna pull the browns. I think I'm liking this one better. But there is still one more technique I want to show. So I have another birthday coming up too. And it's going to be a unicorn. <laughs> so watch for that banner making video. I think I mentioned it before, but then after this birthday, there aren't any birthdays until August. But there's still crafts to be done. I don't know if I'll be able to do Valentine's Day with them before I like that better. See, I'm doing the size feather for the bigger canvas, not for these small 8x10s. Okay. Let's Much better. Let me give you a close up. Oops. 
see. I like that look of it better. Now there is another technique that will have a little bit more selling in it, and I will do that um, video next. But if you didn't see the other video, and you're seeing this one first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you hit the bell next to that subscribe button, it'll notify you when I upload another video. Click like for this video, share it, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you liked uh, this one better, or the second one better, or the first one better, I'll try to do them in order. You'll be able to tell by the messier, messier of my pat, uh, <laughs> painting pad. But yeah, I really like the look of the feather pores, and I'm hoping to incorporate something nice for the third of the four paintings that I'm doing in these colors. Now, um, I don't think I will do the big one tonight because I do have to mix up some amount of the aquamore pearl and I think I need some more cerulean blue and so but this is the feather one the second technique or the same technique but with the brown underneath so let me know what you think because um I value your guys's opinion and hopefully I can upload this tomorrow and then uh, I don't know maybe the both of them by tomorrow I'm actually doing pretty good on time <laughs> And um, let me know which one you like better, the brown behind it or the brown on top. And then I have one more uh, way of doing it. Too. So, All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.